Hey, Innocent Fam. Okay, so today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to any fathers that um, are a part of the Innocent Fam. It's your favorite Gypsy Naya here. We are on the beach tour 2023. So that means I'm driving up the coast of the Atlantic to different beaches um, as I drive up north. Um, so right now we are at the beautiful Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. Um, I'm like right, I'm sitting right next to the boardwalk looking at the big old Ferris wheel and everything. This water is beautiful. I came down here, like South Carolina is so spiritual. I definitely felt like I had to stop and like take my spiritual bath in this beautiful, this water is so beautiful. So right now though it's Father's Day. I'm gonna go ahead and get some messages from anybody's father, any kind of loving messages or any kind of um, c consoling messages from anybody's father who may have passed, or maybe maybe you don't talk to your father. Maybe you and your father have been disconnected through your life. I'm here to get you, you know, anything that you want to know. Maybe you are a father, and you know, you um. Maybe you are a father, and this will help and encourage you somehow, okay? So we're going to start off with the messages of love. We're going to start off with the messages of love oracle, okay? All right. All the fathers, all the beautiful angelic energies, all of the loving angelic protective energies of South Carolina. All of our guidance, spirit guides of consolation, all, all of our comforting, all of all the comforting spirits that speak to us and that want to connect to us. What do you have to say? It says release. So, um, somebody Two cards that fifth out says, release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And it says someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So you, um, what this spirit guide is telling me is that they want you to release and let go of the fact that they have, they have transitioned. They want you to accept that it's okay. It was 222 on the timer when I just said that. And, um, it's so crazy because when I pulled up to my parking space, there was already two hours and 22 minutes exactly on my parking meter. And I pulled up, I didn't realize it, it wasn't intentional, but I pulled up in front, directly in front of a store that um, the address on the store was 316. That's my birthday. Um, it's 316 and 222 so those numbers could be significant like i said it was it was um it's 316 on the timer right now but it was 222 on the timer when i um started to read the energy for this card um okay so someone's father figure you know the energy coming from someone's father figure um or spirit guide is saying you know it's okay it's okay for you to exercise radical acceptance and surrender to help you let go so that you can spiritually transform but also you know let go of the fact that there might have been a spiritual trans understand that death and passing away is a spiritual transformation and it's okay it's, it's acceptable like um you know it, it's not something that always has to be justified or avenged okay all right that's the message of love that i got let's get Let's get a message of closure. Something tried to come out. There it go. A bunch of them just tried to jump out with the messages of closure. So, um, the first one, the first one says, do you, do you still feel my presence? And I'm kind of getting that I should put the rest of these back. It's like a bunch of them. They'll come out if they need to. But it says, do you still feel my presence? So it was 444 on the timer just now. You know, your spirit guide, your, you know, your, your fatherly masculine spirit guide just wants you to know that they're still with you. They still love you. They're still around. 
they still care for you? It says, I am sorry I left you when you were young, okay? So someone's father may have passed when they were young. Or a grandfather is what I heard. I just heard grandfather. And look, it says, I am so proud of you, okay? So this, this masculine energy coming through, I just want you to know that even though they weren't there while you were growing up, you did a great job. Don't beat yourself up over anything. It's okay to release and let go. And they are, they are very proud of you. They are applauding you in the spiritual realm. All right. It says, I projected, I projected my unhappiness on you. Okay. So the relationship, the relationship may have been strained by some things that went on. It says, please don't blame yourself at the bottom of the deck. And it's 555 five, five on the timer. So, um, you know, this, this masculine, this masculine energy that loves you and is proud of you um, is keeping their presence around you, but they want you to know that the bitterness that they carry and the struggles that they carry through this life um, got projected on you, and they don't want you to blame yourself. They, they don't want you to carry that heaviness with you. Nothing is your fault as far as they're concerned. They don't want you to blame yourself because that means they don't blame you. They, they're taking accountability for the fact that they projected something on you that was not your burden or your weight to carry, okay? All right. I'm gonna go to the gold foil tarot so we can kind of narrow down who's coming through here. At the bottom of the deck, I had the emperor, so definitely a father, as soon as I pull it out, Definitely a father or a grandfather, okay? I don't know why I'm getting great-grandfather. Could be somebody's great-grandfather. All right, so we have... Let's see, are all my cards upside down? No, they're not. No, they are not. We have a reverse nine of pentacles, a reverse two of wands, and a reverse king of pentacles. So, someone, um, what, I, what I'm getting is that there, okay, there's a father figure, a king of pentacles, possible earth energy father figure that made some bad decisions with this two of wands in reverse. He made some bad decisions that may have cost you stability through your lifetime. It may have cost you stability through your adulthood. Um, it may have cost your mother, you know, it, it, it may have cost your mother stability possibly, and it directly affected your life. But they are proud of you because you overcame that you persevered through that. I'm not taking all of these, so. I have the seven of pentacles I see here. Yeah, like something, some kind of decision that they made, made it hard for you to manifest the desires of your heart. And you persevered though, just so you know. Yep, I had the three of cups, you still persevered, okay? They may have made it hard for you and your family to get the desires of their heart, of your heart. With this, with this three of cups, like they, they didn't just make it hard for themselves, okay? I mean, they didn't just make it hard for themselves. They didn't just make it hard for you. But you persevered, like you, you came into celebration and happy times either way. You transmuted this reverse nine of pentacles energy into the three of cups energy and that's a beautiful thing i have the fool card and all of these popped out y'all i'm gonna take them because I'm, I'm hearing that I'm, I'm supposed to take that. They all popped out, but I'm getting I should take it. So you manifested, you manifested joy and happiness 
and bliss. I just heard the word bliss. You manifested that because you, you kept your faith and you stood on what you believe in. And you was willing to walk away from anything that didn't serve you with this fool card. Um, yeah, you was willing to walk away because I had the ten, I had the ten of pentacles to the ten of cups. You was willing to walk away from any relationship that was like the one that was, you know, being mirrored from your childhood, possibly. And you stepped out on faith. And this masculine energy knows that, and they're applauding you for that. They're recognizing that you had this strength and this faith. Because we have, we have this reverse Ten of Pentacles, but then we have this upright. We have this upright Ten of Cups, which means you moved on to something better whenever something wasn't right. We have this Hermit in reverse to this Three of Pentacles in reverse. So this, this is showing me that you didn't let some kind of partnership or collaboration, this Ten of Pentacles is reverse. You didn't let this this unhealthy toxic partnership or broken partnership or collaboration stop you and keep keep you in hiding you didn't let it keep you silenced you didn't allow it to um cover up your greatness okay and you you told your story and you told the truth we have the ace of swords here next all right so this this toxic partnership or collaboration it didn't stop it didn't stop you from being the truth and telling your truth and living your truth with this ace of swords they couldn't keep you under a whole whole bunch of illusions illusions stuck and binded okay the lies came out okay that's what this is giving me like the the you know there are a lot of illusions and a lot of lies and they they tried to sacrifice you but it didn't work these illusions and these lies did not work We have the judgment card to the death in reverse. That lets me know it brought you new life. 12, 12, which is on the timer. Right? That could be significant. Could be somebody's birthday, um, December 12th, possibly. But we have this judgment to the death in reverse. It lets me know that you transmuted the energy that was supposed to take something from you and, and rob you of something. You transmuted that energy into a beautiful new life by calling judgment and speaking your truth. This death, in rever this death in reverse always gives me new life. The opposite of death is life. So you call judgment on the situation and that what I'm getting to is like that might have been intimidating because you don't want to seem judgmental. You don't want to seem like the bad guy. But whatever, whatever lies and illusions that were being, um, put up for, for all the people you call judgment on it loud and proud and you moved into your new life like you allowed it to have it like you allowed your ego to die but this this ego death is a part of your destiny so this this masculine energy wants you to know that you did what you were supposed to do and they're proud of you all right Spirit guides, um, this masculine energy coming through, this father figure coming through here. What do you want? What do you want them to know about themselves? What do you want them to ask themselves? Like, in what way can you help them grow even now? All right, let's go. Hold up. Your father wants you to ask yourself this. Knight of Swords energy, okay? Knight of Swords energy. Your father wants you to ask yourself what action needs to be taken to get something accomplished. So your father wants you to aggressively keep going. 14, 14, which is on the timer. This, this masculine energy that loves you wants you to ask yourself every day what action needs to be taken to get something accomplished, okay? Um, because what I'm getting, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting... Don't stop. Whatever this is, this energy coming through, they're telling me don't stop. Don't don't stop. Like, don't slow up. Don't don't get discouraged along the way. And don't don't get distracted. Don't get distracted by anyone else's opinions, possibly. 
of what you're doing. Because like the, the rebirth and the bloodline, the rebirth in a family is coming from you. All right? But you are loved. You are truly loved. All right, Innocent Fam, that's my Father's Day reading for you. Again, we are on the beach tour journey. This is a part of my gypsy journey. We are on the beach tour journey 2023. We are at Myrtle Beach. I'm about to go ahead and get in the water, take my spiritual bath, and hit the road. The next beach I'm going to stop and do a reading at is going to, is going to be um, Virginia Beach. Then I think we're going to head up to Maryland, Ocean City. And I'm going to ride the coast up to Connecticut, all right? All right, love you, innocent fam.